integrate dx over 1 plus e to the x solution. So there's a couple ways uh, to do this problem. Um, my favorite way is as follows. So we write it as 1 over 1 plus e to the x dx. And the idea is as follows. Um, what you do is you add e to the x to the top, and then you take it away. Right, then you take it away. And on the bottom you still have uh, 1 plus e to the x dx. You might say, why would you do this? Because then the magic happens, right? You think of this as 1 plus e to the x, so this is 1 plus e to the x over 1 plus e to the x minus e to the x over 1 plus e to the x. This is a super important skill in mathematics. Uh, this, this idea uh, that's used in this problem is used in multiple problems. These cancel, so you get uh, 1 minus e to the x over 1 plus e to the x, parentheses dx. You'll notice you can't make a u sub at the beginning, by the way, um, because if you let u be the bottom, uh, du is e to the x, and it's nowhere to be found in the numerator. So uh, this is one way to approach it. Now you break it up. It's dx minus the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the x dx. All right, so now we can make a u sub, right, on the second integral here. So we'll let u be equal to 1 plus e to the x. And now when we compute du, we simply get e to the x dx. And now it certainly appears in the numerator. See, in the original problem, we didn't have that e to the x, so we couldn't use this strategy. All right, so let's finish this. This is going to integrate to x minus, and then this piece here at circled, that's e to the x dx. That's just du. And then we have over u, because the bottom piece is u. This is equal to x minus the natural log of the absolute value of u. But we know that u is 1 plus e to the x. So this is 1 plus e to the x, absolute value, and then we have a plus c. And that uh, is the final answer. So I hope this video has been helpful. The strategy is super, super useful, so totally worth uh, learning this technique. That's it.